Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is because of God's mercy and his goodness that we are here today, glory to God. So this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Hallelujah. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. The Lord our God is gracious to us all. Hallelujah. We do bless the Lord on this first Wednesday of May 2021. We are so blessed by God. We are so loved by him. He gives us our heart. He gives us our heart desire. Glory to God. He supplies our every need. He is our protection. He is our rock. Glory to God. He is our fortress, our deliverer. He is our strength. He's our butler. Glory to God. He is the horn of our salvation. He is our high tower. Hallelujah. We call upon the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Oh, bless his holy name at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is our almighty God. He is our Lord. He is our shepherd and we shall not want. He supplies every one of our needs according to his riches and glory. All we have to do is cast our cares over to him and leave it there with him, glory to God, and just watch him work as we all put our trust in him. Hallelujah. 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 We want to welcome the entire United States of America. We want to welcome you, India and Ghana and Morocco. We want to welcome you, Russia Federation, Czech Republic, Portugal, Spain, Mexico, Germany, and all other countries that dial into midday glory. Hallelujah. We want you to know that we appreciate, appreciate every last one of you. We Thank you for listening to us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is our desire to give an encouraging word and prayer every Wednesday at 1 o'clock shop. Glory to God. I am Reverend Gwendolyn Dixon, and I am your host for Midday Glory. Glory to God. We are so grateful to God that we realize that everyone are not, is not able to dial in while we're here on, live, on the, live on the broadcast these 20 minutes. So we thank God for enabling a way that you can still hear the message. Glory to God. You can give us a call back on our call back line, and that number is 712-770-5506 and dial in the code 732-499-POUND or you can go online on the website to Spreaker.com and it's spelled S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R and search for Reverend Dixon or you can go on iHeartRadio and it's all small letters, iHeart.com, search for Midday Glory, Reverend Dixon, glory be to God. We pray without season. The word of God says that men should always pray and to faint not. Prayer is powerful, and God answers our prayers. He may not come immediately when we pray that prayer request, but believe me, when God comes, he is always on time. Hallelujah. We keep all of you in our prayers, but we want you to know that if you have a specific prayer request that you desire midday glory, to pray in agreement with you according to the word of God, please send that prayer request to middayglory at gmail.com. Trust and believe that we will pray for you. Not only will we pray immediately for you, but we will pray for your family, and we will pray for anyone that is connected to you. Glory to God. It's what this ministry is all about. We pray the word of God. Glory be to God. Prayer is powerful. And prayer is so important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here we are in this month of May. The Lord has kept us and he continues to keep us. Glory be to God. And I'm telling you, God is just so amazing. I I just love to, to just sit quiet and hear his instructions each week that he gives me for midday glory. So we've been on the subject of prayer, I believe, since February. And we, we can never, ever speak of, of the, on that subject enough because we all need prayer. And it's important to know what the word of God says about prayer. We have received a, a lot in this past three months of prayer. God has given us a lot of wisdom about prayer. So we must remember that prayer is extremely important for a believer's life. But God is changing the channel slightly. 
Now, but please note that everything we do surrounds prayer. So the Lord is directing us now to do a reality check on self. You know, we have to eat to keep our physical body nourished, okay? So it's so also important for us to check our spiritual nourish, nourishment as well, and we check it with the word of God. So just because we are busy in the church does not mean that we are healthy Christians. Amen? We could be, we could be part of the, of the uh, ministerial staff or the intercessory ministry or the usher board, the choir, the praise team, other ministries that's in the church. But we must know that whatever we do for the Lord, that it must be done from the very depth of our souls. We have to study his word. We have to know his word, and we must be doers of his word, exercising his word in our lives, allowing the word of God to be active in our lives, glory to God. So we would just say it's like a reality check, recognizing the truth about any situation that's in our lives, allowing his word to do a spiritual reality check in our lives. And just as we can be assertive in the world, we must also be assertive in our relationship with Christ. So we want to look at and we want to talk on the subject of true spirituality. You see, as believers in Christ, we have, to, um, we have no choice but to live in accordance to the word of God. We have to allow his word to penetrate within us, reaching into our spirit, reaching into our mind, and reaching into our soul that, that we can pray with power and that we can pray with strength. We can have powerful trust in the Lord. We can have strong faith in him, believe in God for his word, no matter what our situation looks like, glory to God. We can make our requests made known to God. See, the book of Romans in chapter 12, it gives us what God actually expects of us as believers living this Christian life. Paul is pleading in this chapter that we present our bodies to God because of all that he has done for us. So I want to read this entire chapter because it covers just what we need. It says, I therefore beseech you by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. But as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, we being many are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts different according to the grace that is given unto us, what the prophecy, let us prophecy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministering. Or he that teacheth on teaching. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with, with simplicity. That he that ruleth with diligence. And he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good, be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another, not slow in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulations, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of the saints given to hospitality, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one towards another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his ears. Be not overcome evil, but overcome evil with good glory to God. That is the word of God. So let's approach this chapter as God desires for us to. This is a true spirituality we check, glory to God. We must make a living sacrifice to our God Almighty, giving our spirit, our mind, our soul, our bodies to God for all 
that he has done for us. We cannot conform to the things of this world. We must allow God to transform our lives, changing our minds to be the mind of Christ, learning to know his will for our lives. Glory be to God. You see, our Lord and our Savior do not want us to think too highly of ourselves. We cannot think that we are better than anybody else. In his grace, he has given us many gifts. So we must operate these gifts as God, not man, glory to God, instructs us to do so. But this chapter of Romans is very rich, and it's defined in how we as believers in Christ should be a living sacrifice to our Father in heaven, glory be to God. Those of you who have been following me or those who, of you who know me personally, you know how passionate I am about the subject of forgiving. I, I'm telling you, I had to dissect Matthew 544. You see, I had to be delivered and set free in order to have that intimate personal relationship with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the way he desired for me to. I had to get rid of past hurts. I had to, to get rid of, of knowing that people have lied on me. People have talked about me, scandalized me, abused me. I had to let it go. Glory to God. I had to constantly do a spiritual reality check on myself to fill my mind with the word of God. Please hear what I am saying. Each believer must do a spiritual reality check on self. It's so very, very important so that we can be in a right relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We have to desire to receive God's best. God wants to give us the best, not the easiest or the most luxurious, but the best as he defines it. His will is good, is pleasing, and is perfect. So why is it that most Christians don't experience God's best? One reason is because of lies, lies about the meaning of life and about God's purpose for us. Lies keep us conformed to the ways of the world. So when we look at life the way the world does, it blocks us from knowing God and understanding his instructions for our lives. We miss out on that wonderful thing that God wants to give us. So let's ask ourselves, where do the lies come from? We have to recognize that we have a spiritual enemy who is opposed to God's purpose in our lives. We must know we live in a fallen world that distorts God's purpose. And whether we want to admit it or not, we all have a long history with our old sinful nature. None of us were born saved, my God. These three forces combined keep us stuck in the old pattern. This is why the Apostle Paul tells us not to be conformed to the pattern of this world, but to let out the, ourselves be transformed by the renewing of our minds. We have to stop feeding ourselves worldly thoughts and fill our minds instead with the ways of Christ. We need a true spiritual diet rooted in complete trust in his love for us. Only then do our lives begin to change, and only then can we experience his good, pleasing, and perfect will and true spirituality. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord knows we need a spiritual reality check at least twice a year, and it may be even more. We must be strong. We must be determined and powerful in our relationship with him. He has been so good to us, my God. We give our Lord and our Savior, we must give him what he wants, what he deserves. We must accept the call to surrender. It's a radical call to live not for ourselves, but to live for him. Glory to God. We have to be honest. It's a, it's a, a huge hurdle in our relationship with him. You see, once we accept Christ, we experience that epic struggle and come into a place of surrender. And we assume that giving our life to Christ means giving up things that we've hoped for. This is where we truly need to know the word of God. You see, in Romans 8.32, it says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Our God will give us all things. When we don't know the word of God, for ourselves, crazy things can happen. Oh, I so remember right after I accepted Christ in my life as my personal Savior, I was taken on a roller coaster ride, and I mean this literally, listening to everyone but Christ of how I was supposed to live as a believer in Christ. The Word of God tells us in 2 Timothy 2.15 to study to show ourselves approved, rightly dividing that uh, 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 women, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. This scripture is simply telling us as believers that no obstacle should be allowed to get in the way of God's truth. Our God is truth. We must witness by example for his word. We must 
follow him. You see, God wants total control of our lives. He knows our hearts. He wants to fulfill them. His will towards us is good. And to prove it, he already gave his extravagant gift of his son. Our calling to be a living sacrifice is surrender, but it's also total commitment. Here's why. You see, surrender focuses on what we're giving up. Total commitment is a reevaluation of what's important. We realize who God is what he has done for us, and what he is calling us to do. Glory to God. We must make a total commitment to Christ, offering ourselves as a living sacrifice to him. We will be rewarded with a life of joy and true spirituality. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 A true spiritual reality check. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Oh, glory to God. Father, we bless and we honor your holy name on this beautiful day, Lord God. You are righteous, Lord God, and you are worthy to be praised, Lord God. We worship you, Lord God, and we adore you. We honor you, Father God, for who you are. You are our God. Hallelujah. You are our king. You are the righteous God. Hallelujah. You are our, You are sinless, Lord God. You are pure and you are holy. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord God, we will shout aloud to the rock of ourselves. Salvation, Lord God. We give thanks, Almighty God, to your holy name. We extol you, Lord God. You are a great God, the great King above all gods. Hallelujah. You made everything, Lord God, and everything that you made is good. Hallelujah. Lord God, we bow down and worship in your very presence, Lord God. We kneel, Almighty God, before the Lord God, our maker. You are glorious, hallelujah. And we continue to worship you, Almighty God, with extravagant worship, Lord God. We worship you, God, in the splendor of your holiness, hallelujah. We thank you, Almighty God, for your mercy that's new every morning, Lord God. We thank you for your grace, Lord God, your sufficient grace, hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you every day, God, that you are our Savior, that you are our God in whom we put all of our trust, Lord God. We thank you for giving us a brand new start. Lord God, for restarting our lives as we surrender to you, making ourselves totally committed to you, Almighty God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for purpose, Lord God. You created us on purpose. You created us with purpose, Lord God. And you, Almighty God, created us for purpose, Lord for purpose, Lord God. Thank you, Almighty God, for transforming us to be your handiwork, God, uniquely designed to carry out your plans for our lives, God. Thank you for giving us a gift to see your beautiful creation of this world, Lord God. We are so grateful, Lord God, that you taught us how to worship you, Lord God. Thank you for the freedom, Almighty God, to be able to worship you, Lord God. Thank you, Almighty God, for your peace, even in the midst of circumstances, Lord God, that we feel are out of control, Lord God, but we know that we are dealing with the peace that surpasses all understanding understanding, Lord God. Thank you for giving us life and left giving us life more abundantly, Lord God. Thank you for your word, God, that word, that word, oh God, that instructs us, Lord God, that word that directs us and guides us and encourages us, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Everything we need, almighty God, is right there in your word, God. You have given us a reason to hope, Lord God, and we know that you are a promise keeper and a promise maker. Hallelujah. Your, you work all things, Father God, together for our good, Lord God, and we are thankful that, Lord God, you died for our sin, Lord. You willingly suffered the full extent of God's wrath that we may live. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. You gave your life for hours, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. This is endearment, Lord God. True, unconditional love. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you that because of you, we have a claim to heaven, Lord God. We, Lord God, your love endures forever. Hallelujah. So grateful that the chains of our sins are broken. Hallelujah. We are free to do the will of our Father. Lord God, we thank you that every trial makes us stronger in our lives. Hallelujah. Lord God, we continue, Almighty God, to lift the, the conditions of this entire world, Lord God. We pray today, Lord God, for India, Lord God, where COVID-19 has invaded that country, Lord God. But, God, we know that you are still in charge. You are still in control, Almighty God. We pray, oh God, for this entire world, Lord God. We pray, oh God, against hatred. We pray, Almighty God, against jealousy and envy and strife, Lord God. We pray, Almighty God, that we all will humble ourselves before a mighty God. Glory to God. Thank you for giving us all power over the enemy, and nothing can harm us. Glory to God. Lord God, you said that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Oh, Lord God, we desire to operate in the power, oh, my God, that you have given unto us. Hallelujah. We must arise and function in the power and the authority 
authority, Lord God, and which you have given us, Lord God. We pray that all believers, Lord God, would operate in that power. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us the power to break the chains of addiction, Lord God, to break the chains of poverty and, and sickness and the chains of unbelief and disobedience to the word of God. Lord God, we break the chains of hindrance to your blessings for our lives in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you that you have given us the power to break every chain of every marital problem, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Believers will live and be doers according to your word, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God. And we are serving you, Lord God. There is absolutely nothing too hard, Lord God. Lord God, we cry out today, Lord God, and thank you, Lord God, for opening the eyes of our understanding to the authority that you have given us, God, as your sons and daughters, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We desire, Almighty God, to walk in the power and the authority at all times. Glory to God. We believe and know that you are in control, so we shout now, Father God, for the victory that's already won. Hallelujah. Thank you, Almighty God, for the desire to live holy lives that is acceptable, Lord God, and that is pleasing unto you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We continue to exhort your name and be witnesses in this world, Father God, for you, for you are the Christ. We love you, Lord God, and we appreciate you, Lord God. And it's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray and we say amen, amen, and amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is the beginning of a new month. So we want God to truly allow God to truly give us a, re, a, a spiritual reality check. It's good every now and then. Just as we get a physical once a year, we need to get a reality check to see that we are doing believers of the word of God. Bless you richly in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. <laughs>